Hey everyone, Tankenstein here, and welcome to Stock to Spaded. In this episode, I'm bringing you the F9F5 Panther. This is a currently ranked 5 battle rating 8.3 jet fighter for the American Air Tech Tree. This vehicle is perfect for Stock to Spaded, being that it is an optionally unlocked vehicle, meaning that you do not need to purchase this vehicle in order to continue through the Tech Tree. And it sits in the same exact spot as the F9F2. Now the difference between this and the F9F2, aside from the fact that it has a slightly different armament is the fact that it has a different power plant so essentially the f9 f5 is like a higher performance variant of the f9 f too, in that this actually has a better engine and I believe some other minor performance characteristics but largely you get more top speed better performance overall from that better engine now that being said if you guys don't know in stock to spaded I bring this through three matches the first match being fully stock second match being halfway spaded and the third match being fully spaded in which I give you everything you need to know about this plane again from how it starts off so you know how bad the grind can be well, again when it's fully stocked when it's halfway spaded so you guys know how the grind is when you're actually grinding through the plane and then finally when it's fully spaded so you guys can know whether or not i feel that this vehicle is worth purchasing crewing spading and so forth now that being said please let me know what you guys think about this sort of video in the comments below all comments and recommendations on how i can improve it are always welcome but that being said enough with the intro let's get into the video so here we are fully stock and it looks like I'm in a down tier and I'm more or less kind of outpacing most planes. I mean, thus far the performance on this aircraft is not too bad. Now I'm not outpacing most planes by a huge margin, mind you. Um, like for example, this F2H, he is, he got to the pedal before me um, by flying low. So I'm gonna probably go for this AR-293, or uh, 234 rather. Let's see if I can catch up with them. I should be able to. Not a huge fan of these cannons. Um, their fire rate's not all too great. Also, this guy is really looking a little funky here. Okay, got some crits. And let's put these air brakes on. He thought he was going to go right by me. Nope. I'm still on his tail. Now, I do have WEP. Unfortunately, though, it only lasts for a few seconds. So I'm not going to use that unless I absolutely need to. But one big thing about this vehicle is that the cannons, what are they, like the M3, I think they are? The 20mm M3s have seen a huge, an absolutely huge nerf. That is one of the main reasons why the F2H saw a drop in VR from something like, um, what was it, like 8.0, 8.3, all the way down to currently was, I think 7.3. I'm not mistaken so we have this j29 he definitely has the speed advantage but he is going to turn and kind of surprised i didn't get okay got a nice hit on him now this is again fully stocked if you guys did not know for whatever reason i try to make that pretty clear hopefully no one okay i got a mig 20 or mig 9 behind me okay perfect so i gotta duel this mig 9 right now go turn in try to hit this uh, SU-9. sure I can probably get them. Put them flaps on. Nice. Now, one thing for you guys to note when it comes to this uh, gameplay with this uh, stock to spade it, is that when I started making this video, I am already about, eh, I'd say around halfway to two-thirds spaded. So I had to retroactively deselect a lot of the mods on this vehicle, uh, specifically for this video. So, if it looks like I am more spaded than I am, I'm not. I deselected uh, all the mods. So, again, I am right now fully stock. Uh, so, every single part that you see that I'm using is stock on this. But overall, I mean, I can tell you right now, the performance on this aircraft, at least in a down tier, is not all too bad. Now, I'm going to probably have to go back to my base real soon. But, you know... I recently made a video about the F2H2 and back when it was like 8.0 BR and that was only like two months ago. And I can tell you guys this. See, oh man, I hate these cannons so much. It's like the spray pattern on them is just not good. Okay, got a nice hit. That's all I'm going to get. So I have to back off. I have no more ammo left. Hopefully they can count for an assist. I'm not sure if it will. But, um... 
Come on, buddy. Give me a... Yeah, I got two assists. Very nice. So thus far, I mean, my first match, I'm not doing all too poorly. I got two kills, two assists. I'm actually kind of surprised by this. Um, you know, I'm not blown away by it by any means, but I am surprised by it pretty thoroughly. Um, I was expecting this to play much more like the F2H2, but to be quite honest with you, the performance on this is pretty damn good uh, for where it sits, even fully stock. Um, I was not expecting that. Looking at the stat card, looking at um, knowing how these vehicles play, I'm genuinely surprised. Also, look at the web. As you can see, the web is on currently. That does deliver, I think, around 200 kilograms or whatever, KGF, uh, of thrust more. So you do get more thrust. However, it goes away after only a few seconds, maybe about a half minute at very most. So you do get some use out of it. However, if I'm not mistaken, it was primarily supposed to be used for heavy takeoffs, and that was it. So there's a minimum amount of WEP that you actually have, and uh, you will see that go gray in just a few seconds here. But it is a nice little feature to add in case you really need to pull away from somebody. Again, I'm fully stock, and my wings are starting to shake near sea level by using this WEP. Um, and I suspect even not using the WEP, I would still, look at that, I'm still gaining speed. Even gaining a little bit of altitude. So as I said, I'm guessing that the next match is going to start in a few seconds. Um, so that said, let's go halfway spaded, but again, wow. I am impressed by this aircraft fully stock. I mean, cannons kind of suck, but overall the plane itself, the foundations, they're pretty good. Hmm, so this is a nice surprise. We have a Tupolev 4. Now, I don't really know if these 20mm cans are going to get the trick done. Even the HE filled shells are not all that great. But that is a pretty big target. If I can hit those engines, I can ver at very least do something against them. Now, he already knows I'm here, obviously. Okay, got that WEP going. And got a crit. Didn't get the kill. But you know what? I will accept it. That guy's got five kills against us. Holy guacamole. Good job, Luke Clary. Wow. Good on him. He really, he positioned that well. So that said, now let's get into the uh, into the next match here. But, um, you know, I'm expecting for this match to <laughs> be won by us. And I'll just say that's two kills, three assists, which is probably going to be a pretty standard trope that we see because these uh, cannons get you a lot of assists. That said, let's get into the next match. So I don't know if I should be surprised by this or not, but I am halfway spaded and the performance is even much better than what it was when it was fully stock. And I was impressed by the stock performance. So, I mean, it really feels like it picked up the pace. I mean, I'm gaining altitude, gaining speed. I mean, of course, I'm not like moving all incredibly fast, but it's still a very, very nice amount of speed and performance and all of that good stuff from a plane that's 8.3 BR. Now, I'm not entirely sure if this vehicle still should be considered for, for grinding, and I will know that probably by the time I get this thing fully spaded, but thus far, it's not all too bad. So we have the Saab 105. I don't think I'm going to be able to hit him. Yeah, he's going to go away from me. Well, maybe I can lay some of this out. Oh, I got a hit. Nice. Very, very nice. Uh, I do have the anti-air belts on this. Huh. That... That was a little close for comfort. Uh, if that was my ally, I did not like that he did that to me. Okay. <laughs> wow. Um, okay, so we have this F-86 here. Um, I'm not a huge fan of head-ons with this. Okay. <laughs> what is going on here? Typically, the head-ons uh, with this plane are really just not good. So we have a J-32 behind us. Got a turn. Not going to get hit, of course. Why would I? Okay. Those are pretty much AIM-9Ls that he has. I lost control because I do not have JSU and I do not have a um, an expert crew flying this. So I'm going to put this in, uh, take out those flaps. Now, partial flap engagement, if I'm not mistaken, does help. A little bit. Not a ton, but it does help enough where it could be seen as being effective. So, try to put those flaps on one more time. It looks like I am under flap speed, which is nice. 
Uh, this J32, I'm really surprised. He's actually keeping up with me. Uh, we have this F84. Got some nice hits on him. No kill. But it feels like sometimes these this cannon isn't really all that great. Like, I mean, obviously, like I said, it's not a great cannon, the M3. But the air belts seem to be a lot better, but not so much so where it's like this groundbreaking thing. Got another hit. Like, I'm not getting any, like, surprise kills, uh, which is kind of a shame. And the fire rate on these is um, what I would refer to professionally as a uh, YouTuber as booty chatter. Uh, they're just not really all that great. You have a lot of the time these planes just kind of slip right in in front of you, uh, which is not a good thing. Put these on, and I only have 248 shots left. Got a nice crit on them, and another assist. Three assists. I mean, in my opinion, and this is how I'm always going to look at it, assists are not a bad thing to get at all all you know anyone who who says assists suck they are wrong you are helping your team win and especially when you have a plane like this as i predicted in the first match this is an assist magnet with these cannons the way that they nerf them so much i can expect assists and that's just how it is now the performance of this aircraft again i'm actually pretty surprised uh i know the j32 is a heavier aircraft than this of course but I was able to kind of keep up with him pretty well. Even though he has an afterburner, I was able to out-turn him. Uh, it was just an overall impressive performance. Um, you know, just a light performance, of course, but not all too bad. So we have this MiG-15 here. Is he even looking at me? And that's what I mean. Not at all a fan of these um, cannons because I think a lot of other planes would have shot that guy but the cannons just left him open um, and just did not pretty much let me hit him. And I know I'm not the best hit in the world here, or the best shot in the world, rather. Okay. And there we go. I'm going to probably get another assist here. I only have eight shots left. Hopefully I get an assist. Okay, not too bad. One kill, four assist. That last one, I'll take the blame for it. That was kind of more my fault. But one kill, four assists, that's not a bad match, in my opinion. Um, you know, there's only so much one can do. So that said, I think I'm going to probably go into the next match, and this will be it. So not bad. You know, one kill, four assists, that's five frags. A lot of people are looking for the kills all the time. But 2,200 points, halfway stock, or halfway spaded. I mean, I am much more impressed with this vehicle than I ever thought I would be. So... Unless somehow I get back up in the sky and kill this Scimitar F, I say let's go to the last match, the fully spaded match. I still have a few more mods to grind. But man, I mean, I'm impressed by this thing. Not bad. Okay, we got this A4E down here. I'm going to probably go for him. Not sure if I'm going to be successful with it. He is, for whatever reason, launching a bunch of flares blindly. But let's see if I can get him. Does he think that I have missiles? I'm not sure. Oh, that was ugly. What am I even doing? Is this just like a free kill? Was that just like a free kill? I kind of suspect that was a free kill. Anywho, uh, what I can tell you right now is that this plane is awesome. Uh, genuinely. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I genuinely surprised by how good this plane has been. Now, is it the best plane I've ever, ever flown in this game? No, by no means is it. However, it does have really nice performance. You know, the top speed isn't fantastic. You're looking at a sub 1,000 kilometer per hour top speed. It kind of wigs out once you get beyond 900 kilometers per hour um, in so far as it's, come on, yeah. In so far as its compression is concerned, and it also uh, doesn't have great cannons. You know, of course, that is a big deal uh, because a lot of the time, as you've probably seen, these planes kind of fly right through my cannons, which sucks, you know, really bad. So we got this Sea Venom here. I should... Mm, probably not going to be able to catch him. 
Nice, got a second kill. I'm just gonna fire a few shots across his bow. He's turning. Perfect. This might be an instance where WEP is needed, but maybe not. Okay, we're still kind of far away from his base. He's gotta start turning, putting his air brakes on. Okay, got a nice hit on him. Woof! What is up with all this bad aim? But look at these hits, man. What the hell is that? I hit this guy 21 ways to Sunday right there. And he is still flying somehow. I don't suspect he'll be airborne for long. But that just goes to show how mediocre those cannons are. But overall, I mean, three kills. Not too bad. I'm very, very happy with the performance of this aircraft. Uh, you know, the, the cannons can be worked on. I really wish that they weren't this bad. But... Also, my aiming wasn't spot on. I mean, I missed a few shots against the A4. Definitely missed a few shots against the Sea Venom. And if I didn't miss all those shots, I'd probably have enough shots to be able to go after another plane here. So not all too bad. But in all, what do I think about this plane? Well, it's got good energy retention. It's got great performance up to around 850-ish kilometers per hour. It does suffer from compression beyond 900 kilometers per hour. That's not all too terrible. Uh, it's got not the best top speed, but it's got pretty decent handling. Not the best, somewhere in the middle, but overall pretty good performance. You're going to be able to boom and zoom in this as long as you're in a down tier. And it, you know, will be able to still shoot planes out of the sky so long as you can get on their tail. And kind of, if you can get a crit on them, they are dead meat. These cannons, while not the best, are still decent enough where you can, you know, of course kill your injured prey so to speak so i'm not at all upset with this aircraft pretty happy with it but the important question here do i recommend the purchase of this aircraft do i recommend that you get it grind for it uh you know of course spade it fully i'd say eh, it's not necessary i can't give it a, a resounding yes because of the m3 cannons but overall I'm very impressed with it. So, yes, I, I do recommend you getting this plane. I think that is more than worthy of your grinding for it. I think that it is more than worthy of a plane. And it's a very, very good plane, even at 8.3 VR. Because so long as you kind of know its strengths and weaknesses, this plane can outperform almost anyone. I mean, this was not a very difficult thing to get. And that match where I had four assists, one kill, I almost took out... I, I had a hand in destroying... 5 of 12 people on their team with this plane. I think that was an up tier too, so none too shabby. That being said, thanks so much for watching. I'm assuming that this match is about over. I probably won't get another kill here, but, um, you know, again, thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to land on this carrier. Okay, looks like I will not be able to land on the airfield beforehand, but, again, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone. Okay, look, okay, I landed, I landed, I'll take it. Take care, everyone.